హాయ్ ఎవరి వన్ వెల్కమ్ టు అవర్ ఛానల్ మ్యాథ్ టైమ్ విత్ ధనప్రసాద్ ఏపీ ట్రిపుల్ ఐటీ ఎంట్రన్స్ టెస్ట్ ట్వంటీ ట్వంటీ వీఆర్ ఇన్ సిక్స్త్ చాప్టర్ ప్రోగ్రెషన్స్ సో ఇన్ లాస్ట్ క్లాస్ ఇన్ లాస్ట్ వీడియో ఐ ఆల్రెడీ డిస్కస్డ్ అబౌట్ వాట్ టు ప్రిపేర్ అండ్ హౌ టు ప్రిపేర్ ప్రోగ్రెషన్స్ వెరీ క్లియర్లీ అండ్ ఆఫ్టర్ కంప్లీటింగ్ దట్ బేసిక్స్ వీడియో అండ్ టాప్ ఫిఫ్టీ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఐ గివ్ యూ వన్ ప్రాక్టీస్ టెస్ట్ నౌ ఇన్ దిస్ క్లాస్ ఐ వుడ్ లైక్ టు గివ్ సొల్యూషన్స్ విత్ కీ కీ విత్ ఎక్స్ప్లెనేషన్ క్వశ్చన్ నెంబర్ వన్ question number 1 the common ratio in the progression so first we have to look at the progression what is common ratio so here common difference means arithmetic progression common ratio means geometric progression anyhow the common ratio in the progression is 3 minus 6 12 minus 24 plus 28 48 and so on so let us see 3 minus 6 plus 12 minus 24 plus 48 and so on so here common ratio is defined for what geometry progression so therefore common ratio r is given by t2 by t1 means second term by first term or third term by second term and so on so minus 6 by 3 minus 6 by 3 is equal to what minus 2 so here option 4 is the right answer if you want to calculate some t3 by t2 and 12 by minus 6 that is also what minus 2 therefore option 4 is the right answer Question number 2, the sum of the 100 terms in the progression 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus so on is. So we all know that this is the sum of the first, sum of the first n natural numbers formula is n into n plus 1 by 2. Its answer is what? 5050. This is repeated bit. You can easily answer this type of question in triple IT entrance exam. So therefore here 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus so on 100 terms. So here we know the formula 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus so on n means sum up to n term sum of the first n natural numbers is given by n into n plus 1 by 2 i want sum up to 100 terms therefore put n equal to 100 here 100 into 100 plus 1 means 101 divided by what 2 2 goes how many times 50 times 5 into 101 505 10 is there 5050 so here option 2 is what right answer Question number 3, an employee got rupees 300 as a salary in 11th year of service means T11 is equal to how much? 300 rupees. 11th term means, 11th year means 11th term according to progressions. And rupees 495 rupees in the year 24th year of service means T24 is equal to 495. So in the monthly salary in the consecutive years, in the arithmetic progression therefore what is his salary and what is his increment means what is a what is d what is first salary means first term d is equal to how much difference nothing but what increment yearly increment is equal to how much so here our options are 200 10 300 10 150 and what 20 150 and 15 rupees by checking by checking we can answer this question very easily this is about a plus 10d this is about what a plus 23 first let us take a plus 10d so here take first option put a is equal to 200 and d is equal to 10 200 plus 10 into 10 300 option 1 is what satisfied for the first condition a equal to 200 and d is equal to 10 it is 200 it is 230 it becomes what 430 but i am not getting what 495 therefore option 1 is what wrong similarly go for option 2 a is equal to 300 and d is equal to 10 it becomes what 400 option 2 is also wrong option 3 when i put a is equal to 150 plus d is equal to 20 a is equal to 150 a is equal to 150 and d is equal to 20 20 into 10 200 200 plus 150 350 wrong answer therefore option 4 is what by checking options we can easily get the right option option 4 is what right answer question number 5 the sum of n terms of the progression 0.5 plus 0.55 plus 0.55 plus so on n terms so in in our 10th class mathematics this these are standard problems 0.5 plus 0.55 and so on or 0.9 plus 0.99 and so on so all our standard formulas you have to remember the formulas because this is like an essay question but it is what our competitive exam within one minute we have to what answer the question therefore its answer is option 2 5 n by 9 minus 5 by 81 into 1 minus 1 by 10 power n option 2 is right answer 
क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव एक्स इक्वल टू वन बै टू प्लस वन बै फोर प्लस वन बै एट प्लस सो आन वन बै सिक्सटी अंड वै इज ईक्वल टू वन बै थ्री प्लस वन बै नईन प्लस वन बै ट्वेंटी सेवन अंड सो आन आर आर इन जामेट्रिक प्रोग्रेसन दीज टू आर् जामेट्रिक प्रोग्रेसन वाट वाट विच आफ द फॉलोइंग इज करेक्ट फस्ट वन एक्स ईक्वल टू वै आर सैकंड वन टू एक्स प्लस फोर वै ईक्वल टू फोर थर्ड वन एक्स स्क्वेर इज ईक्वल टू वै फोर्थ आपशन एक्स प्लस वै इज ईक्वल टू वाट जीरो सो हियर वाट इज एक्स x is equal to 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 plus so on. What is y? Y is equal to 1 by 3 plus 1 by 9 plus 1 by 27 plus 1 by 81 and so on. So here x is sum of the infinite terms of a geometric progression. Similarly, y is also sum of the infinite terms of geometric progression. What is the sum of the infinite terms formula for geometric progression? So infinity is equal to a by 1 minus r. a is equal to how much here? 1 by 2. 1 minus r is equal to how much? 1 by 4 by 1 by 2. Nothing but what? 1 by 2. Here it is 1 by 2 by 2 comes here 2 minus 1. 1. 1 by 2. So therefore what? What I got? 1. Similarly, what about formula of this one? This is also same formula. a by means 1 by 3 by 1 minus r. 1 minus what? 1 by 3. How we got 1 by 3? Common ratio. T2 by T1. So here 1 by 3 minus 1, 2 by 3. 1 by 3 by 2 by 3. This 3, 3 cancel. What we get? 1 by 2. So therefore here x is equal to 1, y is equal to what? 1 by 2. x is equal to 1, y is equal to 1 by 2. Check, the, check our options. Option 1, x equal to y is what? Wrong answer. Option 4, x plus y is equal to 0 is what? Wrong answer. x square is equal to y is what? Wrong answer. Option 2, 2x plus 4y is equal to 4 is right answer. So therefore here, x equal to 1 and y is equal to how much? 1 by 2. Nothing but when I cross multiply this, 2y is equal to what? 1. So therefore here, option 2 is what? 2x plus 4y. What is 2x? 2 into 1. 2 plus 4y. I have 2y is equal to 1. 4y is equal to means multiplying with 2 on both the sides. 4y is equal to what? 2. 2 plus 2 is equal to what? 4. Option 2 is what? Right answer. Question number 6. 1 square plus 1. First term. Plus 2 square plus 2. Second term. Plus 3 square plus 3. Third term. And so on. n square plus n is equal to how much? So this is one standard bit. Its answer is n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 by 3. Option 3 is what? Right answer. Otherwise, see this. 1 square plus 1 first term 2 square plus 2 second term and so on n square plus n is what last term see the see all first terms 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus 1 n square that is what 1 square plus 2 square plus 1 plus what n square plus what about second parts 1 2 3 so on so here 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus so on what plus n So here, if this is the sum of the first n terms, just now I used the formula n into what? n plus 1 by 2. What about sum of the squares of the first n natural numbers? If the first n natural numbers are the same, if the first n natural numbers are the same, so sum of the squares of the first n natural numbers is what? n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 by what? 6. So what is common in both the terms here? n into n plus 1. Here also what? n into n plus 1. I can take n into n plus 1 is common. At the same time, here I have 6, here I have 2. I can take what? 2 common. So here n into n plus 1. And in, in 6, 2 is already came out. What, what is remaining is 2n plus 1 by what? 3 plus n into n plus 1 by 2 total came out. What remains here? When I take LCM here, 3 comes here. So here this is what? 3 by what? 3. When 1 plus 3 is what? 4. Now what I can take common? I can take 2 is common. This 2 and that 2 cancel. Here I will get what? n plus 2. That 2 and this 2 what? Cancel. Therefore answer is n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 by 3. Option 3 is what? Right answer. So anyhow remember this is also because uh, important uh, formula. Question number 7. If A, B, C are in arithmetic progression as well as in GP. So here A, B, C are in arithmetic are in ap at the same time abc are in gp then which of the following are true this is also a standard bit so whenever abc are in ap and gp then fourth option a equal to b equal to c is the right answer you can easily remember this how so whenever abc are in ap we know that b is equal to what a plus c by 2 whenever abc are in gp we know that b square is equal to what ac right So I substitute b is equal to a plus c by 2 in this equation. In place of b, I have to substitute this here. Means 
I have to substitute B is equal to A plus C by 2 here. A plus C by 2 whole square is equal to what? A C. A plus C whole square by 4. When I cross multiply this, uh, that comes here and becomes what? 4 A C. When the term comes this side, it becomes what? 0. What is A plus B whole square minus 4 A B means A minus B whole square. This is A. A plus B whole square minus 4AB formula A minus B whole square. We all know this. So therefore, A is equal to what C? When I put A is equal to C here, when I put A is equal to C, it becomes what? C square. Taking square root on both the sides. Square square cancel. B is equal to what C? Is equal to what B? Therefore, A equal to B equal to C. Option 4 is what? Right answer. So whenever ABC are in AP and GP, then A equal to B equal to what? C. Question number 8. The common difference of the arithmetic progression 13, 8, 3, comma, minus 1 and so on. So this is also very easy bit. This is what is common difference D in arithmetic progression? T2 minus T1 means second term minus first term. Here 8 minus 13 is equal to how much? Minus 5. Therefore option 1 is right answer. Question number 9, if x, 2x plus 2, 3x plus 3 are in arithmetic progression. So, this is the typing mistake, not in arithmetic progression, this is what? In geometric progression. Then the fourth term is, so is x, 2x plus 2, 3x plus 3 are in what? Geometric progression. So, just now we discussed about a, b, c. If a, b, c are in geometric progression, then b square is equal to what? a, c. This is a, this is b, this is c, b square is equal to a, c. By using that condition, 2x plus 2 whole square is equal to x into what? 3x plus 3. b square is equal to what? ac. I can take 2 common means 2 square means 4 comes out. x plus 1 whole square is equal to here 3 common. 3 comes out. What is remaining? x plus 1. Now with this x plus 1 and this square gets what? Cancel. What is remaining here? 4 into x plus 1 is equal to what? 3x. Here we have 4x plus 4. 3x comes this side and becomes what? minus 3x 4x minus 3x x here 4 into 1 4 that go, the goes that side it becomes what x is equal to minus 4 so therefore here so this is what first term this is what second term this is what third term and so on we are in geometric progression a is equal to x is equal to what minus 4 what about second term 2x plus 2 so here a this is a now second term AR is equal to 2x plus 2. When I substitute x equal to minus 4, 2 into minus 4, minus 8. Minus 8 plus 2, minus 6. What I got is first term and second term. Why I calculated second term to find what? R. R is equal to what we know T2 by T1. What is T2? Minus 6. By what is T1? Minus 4. So minus minus cancel. cancel. Therefore what I got is 3 by what? So now I have a value at the same time r value. Which term I want? Fourth term t4. What is t4 in geometric progression? A r cube. What is a first term? Nothing but x. Nothing but what? Minus 4. r cube. What is r? 3 by 2. So here 3 by 2 whole cube. So minus 4 into minus 4 into 3 cube. 3 into 3 into 3. 27 by 2 cube means what? 8. 4 goes how many times? 2 times. Minus 27 by 2. 2. What about our option? <clears throat> so, minus 27 by 2 means option 4 minus 13.5 is what? Right answer. So, therefore, it looks little bit lengthy. When you practice more, you can easily do it in within 1 minute. So, this is in geometric progression. B square is equal to AC. You can easily get what? X equal to minus 4. How to find R common ratio? T2 by T1. So, therefore, I got 3 by 2. I want T4. AR cube. So therefore, minus 13.5 is what? Right answer. Question number 10. If the sum of three terms in an arithmetic progression is 15 and the sum of the squares of the first term and the third term is 58, then the terms are. So here, if the sum of the first three terms in AP, we already done lot of problems in 10th class mathematics. Therefore, so whenever three terms are given, how to take in arithmetic progression? We have to take the terms as A minus D, A and what? A plus D. Sum is what? 15. Add these three terms plus plus is equal to how much minus d plus d cancel a plus a plus a 3a is equal to 15 a is equal to what 5 this is what first part of the question sum of the squares of the first term and the third term is 58 means first term is what a minus d whole square square of the third term is what a plus d whole square is equal to what 58 
Now, what is the use of this? What is the use of this? A minus B whole square plus A plus B whole square is 2 into A square plus B square formula. 2 into A square plus B square. Nothing but 2 into A square plus B square is equal to what? 58. 2 goes how times? 29 times. A square plus D square is equal to 29. What is A? A is equal to 5. 5 square, 25 goes this side and becomes minus 25. 29 minus 25, 4. D square is equal to what? 4. D is equal to what? Root 4 is what? 2. So therefore, A equal to 5 and D is equal to what? 2. What I want? First three terms. This is first term. This is second term. This is what? Third term. What is A minus D? 5 minus 2 is what? 3. Check your options. Check your options. First term is what? 3. Option 2 is what? Right answer. Here you no need to check the remaining two terms because 3 contains in option 2. Option 2 lo matrame. 3 on the cover, 3, 5, 7 is what? Right answer. So, so in the work of 6th chapter, progression 6 someone in the important practice test. That is why I am going to the explanation of the clear explanation. So, I am going to open the comment box. If you like this video, please like this video. Please share the subscribe and share your friends. So, in the next chapter, coordinate geometry. If you are going to the coordinate geometry, I am going to the video. ये वेदन का उन्होंने मेरे छोड़ो चुके हैं। तो नेक्स्ट वीडियो कोऑर्डिनेट जामेट्री लो मानो मीटर दो। अंतवार को जय हिंद।